Hello and welcome to a new video. So it will be a quick tip today regarding why you shouldn't defragment an SSD or an M2 or an NVMe and why this function should be applied only for hard drives. Basically, on a hard drive, you have spinning plates and on those plates, the information is written as it was on a CD or DVD. So it's from inside to the outside. So basically, if one of those sectors is getting bad, or maybe it has some scratches because you've opened it, or it failed from the PC when you've opened it, who knows? The defragmentation process means that it searches for the bad sector and it takes the information from that sector and rewrites it to another sector, which is good or in good health. So this is healthy for your hard drives, which has uh, spinning plates. But for your SSD or NVMe or M.2, this is the worst thing possible to do. Because basically on an SSD, you have a very, I'm not sure if I should call it write or fast technology, which is handling the writing process. But the thing is, the lifespan of an SSD is based on how much do you write in it. If you do a defragmentation, this process on an SSD, this process will rewrite the information and move it from side to side, let's say, a lot of times and doing this so often will basically shorten the life of your SSD because the lifespan on the SSD is based on how much you write on it, as I just said. So doing the defragmentation process will rewrite the information very fast on it and will basically shorten the life of an SSD. So as you remember, as we were kids and everyone had hard drives because the SSD weren't launched back in the days, the defragmentation process helped a lot because maybe you have dropped the hard drive or maybe why not you just hit your computer case because you got angry in a game. And the process is still available if you are going on the search bar and write bang. If you can see, I have only SSDs, but I still can optimize them. And if you click on advanced view, you can see that it says I have some hidden volumes that needs optimization, but I, I choose not to do it as it, it, it's a waste of time on an SSD. So yeah, please avoid doing this and please subscribe to this channel for more tech tips.